my channel Green Chip. Today we will study the first chapter of business, nature and significance of management. What is management? Management is the art of getting things done through other. Art of getting things done through others. Which includes planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling of the whole organization. So next topic is effectiveness and efficiency. What is effectiveness? It is the doing right task and completing it within given time. doing the right task and completing it within the given time period. Suppose a man X is given the task of completing 2000 computer, 200 computers in one week. If he did it within one week, he is effective. He is effective. If he is not able to complete it within the given time period, he is not effective. Efficiency means doing the right task. Doing the right task and completing it with cost effective manner or or with low cost and using the resources of wisely suppose A and B are employees of the firm and given the task of completing 200 computers in one week. A completed and B both of them are able to complete this task. But A uses very wisely resources of the organization. Wisely. And B wasted the resources. So who is efficient? A is efficient and beneficial for whole the organization. Next up is skills, feature of management. There are seven features. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven features of management. The first feature of management is goal oriented. Goal oriented means apne goal ki taraf pura dhyan rukna. Ek organization ka kya goal hota hai? एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का गोल है अपने हर एक चीज को अच्छी तरह अचीव करना जैसे हमने पढ़े पांच फंक्शंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट कौन कौन से थे वो प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्टाफिंग डायरेक्टिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग ऑल दिस फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट हेल्प्स इन अचीविंग द गोल्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एग्जांपल लेट्स हैव द एग्जांपल uh, the goal of organization is to sell 200 units in one week. All the functions of management, all the five functions of management help in achieving this goal. The function of management is pervasive. Before starting the fun this function, I will yet let you know the meaning of pervasive. Pervasive means universal. Universal. That is, it means that management is needed at all the parts of the world or in every organization, whether big, small or any type. Like the cricket team has to manage its work or the school, the hospitals, the banks, these all need to manage their work. This means that management is very pervasive. Management is multi-dimensional. Multi-dimensional means it has three dimensions and is very complex.
complex activity. The first dimension is management of work, second is of people and third is of operations. Management of work includes, we have studied the five, five functions of management that is planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling. Management of work includes planning, organizing and controlling all the activities related in the organization. So next dimension is management of people. It includes staffing and directing in the whole organization. Next is management of operation. It includes productions, sale and any services. Management of people is very complex as the, all the people in the world are with different needs, different mind, different, uh, different status. Management is continuous process. After planning, we start to how to organize the things. After organizing, we start staffing the things. After start staffing, we start directing the people. After directing, we start controlling. All the functions of management are continuous and are repeatedly one and are used repeatedly one by one. It is intangible food. Intangible means which cannot be touched. We can't touch the management. We just feel the presence of management. If the whole organizational goals are being achieved, we can just say that the management of this organization is very good. But we can't touch the management of any organization. Management is group activity. Management in the management there are number of members which join together. All the members join but have different mind opinions, different target to joining the organization, but are concerned to achieve the main target that is organizational goal. Management is dynamic. Dynamic means it keeps on changing the environment in which the business exists keeps on changing. To cope up with the changes, the business has to develop the new technology. Like in ancient time, we have heard our father and mother that our work was two things. One is a big and one is a big. Now, what happened? We have a lot of choices to buy a new car.